Hi, so I'll do the intro. So I'm Chloe Ford, the branch chair for Swindon uh, for the Wills and Barks Canal Trust. And this is Stephen Court, Court above the cut. Hello. Uh, YouTuber who does quite a lot of work for the, the Wills and Barks, a big fan. Yeah, very much so, local canal, so yeah. Yeah, yeah um, and what we're doing today is exploring the North Wilts end of the canal. So I'll just jump into Swindon. So if you was coming along Canal Walk, the main parade in Swindon's centre, and you go along where the what was previously the Debenham store, the Wilson Barks then turns and goes along Fleming Way and to the famous Magic Roundabout. But did you know the canal then turned the other way? And that was the North Wilts Canal, which joined us up to Griffith and the Cotswold Canals. And that's what we're going to look at today is Swindon still has some of that North Wilts Canal with a plan to restore it. So that's what we're going to look at today. So I'm just going to follow Steve through the hedge here and um, I'm going to show you the, the outside of the aqueduct. Now the aqueduct had work done on it around the millennium to, uh, to make it secure. So I'm just going to go and have a look at the, uh, the aqueduct down there. So this is... This is the very edge of Malden Hill. Malden Hill Country Park. So this is the aqueduct at uh, the end of the current Malden Hill stretch. Um, you'll be really pleased to, that we're stood here and not yourself at the minute because the River Ray really does have a pungent smell to it. Um, I can't comment as a trust, but yeah. <laughs> it's um, as, as Steve was saying. It's not, been in the press a lot recently. Yeah, it's, it's not pleasant on the nose. So um, this, the, obviously, the the it's an aqueduct. So the North Wilts branch would have gone over this, the top here. Um, this was maintained by the trust a few years ago and is in very good order. Lovely surviving feature. There is one more lock surviving. Hayes Knoll is on the way to Cricklade. And there is one further aqueduct about a quarter of a mile up the road from Hayes Knoll towards Cricklade. Um, and that's also in good order and goes over another smaller river before we get into Cricklade. So if you visit Malden Hill Country Park, you'll see this just to the side, uh, the left hand side of the uh, the River Ray down here. And soon the Trust will have, we've got a brand new sign coming up here, welcoming you to the, the Wilson and Barks Canal Trust. So you come through the kissing gate, you don't physically have to kiss anyone. <laughs> and no one's kissing. <laughs> and um, you can cross over here. And this is the original North Wilts Canal. in unrestored form and I'm just going to take you over there to show you the top of the aqueduct there's the reed bed there's Stephen stood there on the crossing and this is the top of the aqueduct this is just a walk around video today to introduce you to the area and there's the river Ray So this is the reed bed on the North Wilts, uh, totally unrestored and cleaned and um, obviously you can see trees in the in the bankside and so on. And this is the uh, the towpath. So the plan for the trust, one, we're doing an ecological report at the moment starting at the end of January that's privately funded and uh, they will do five stages of work but the first stage will be to go back here and you'll see originally that just where my finger is there you'll see original planting and you can see where this has been chopped what they call dedging and um, we'll continue the dedging we renew the dedging so a lot of this will go cut back and um, the towpath will start from there and restore over so this, this is actually towpath here and uh, this will get restored as first part of port call. <laughs> I just want to show you how cold it is. Look at the ice around those trees. 
The canal is in water here, despite and restoration. So just to the right of us, just before I pressed record, a train went by and obviously the train is the demise of the canal and uh, now the canals are being restored for leisure purposes mostly. But this is Molden Hill Lock or Molden Lock and this was restored in the millennium, for the millennium. I'm just going up a mound here and um, it's uh, got lovely brickwork it's very deep so they've erected a fence here I'm not going to cross over the fence and if you do come to visit this site if you do come to walk along this wonderful stretch please do not go over this fence line it's a very deep lock the gates aren't in place at the moment because it's not a working lock but it is fully safe now, fully structural and I'm just going to show the other end to show you how the lock would work. Apologies for the ambulance in the background. That's the deepest part of the lock and just down there you'll see an entrance hole. There'd be lock gates there and that's where the water comes through. So what happens is you've got these, the paddle will be in there. The paddle raises up allowing water to flow through and goes down there. To allow the water through and you control the level of the water through these paddle points that will be in here the top bits an overflow and this bit is in is in water at the moment so that bit you would have your windlass you yeah this is where you... <laughs> Peggy's face does it all there <laughs> So where Peggy's walking now, this would have been the original lock site and it's been lost through the transition of the power station and that reed there, Thistle, is a, is a pound, a large pound and then beyond that we'll show you where the brickwork is of the second lock. So I'm just walking up here, this would have been Morden Lock where Stephen and Peggy are stood there is inside the lock and there is the rate waiting wall the original brickwork that is Wilson Barks bricks and um, you can see the original wall of the lock is still in existence I'm just going to come over past this fallen tree or cut tree you can just about see it there that's the holding wall that would have uh, protruded around in that shape to hold back the weight of the water you can see it quite well now and those there in the coping stones at top, the top of the lock just here yeah just there it's lovely to see this uh, this part of history still here and at some point in the future possibly we will retake this route who knows you may see this lock back in use so that's the war what uh, st even stood on there and that's um, coping stones one and two of Morden lock So we've just come up that bank and I'm just going to turn the camera slowly for you guys here. I am stood in the middle of the canal line and it goes up beyond those trees through there and uh, that's my feet in the canal and now we'll go off behind the Nova Harriet School which we're just going to have a look at now. So we've just pushed ourselves through the undergrowth here. There is a, a track and I'm just going to walk past this tree and show you that if I step down here and uh, dear viewer if you do come this way go very careful because this will be an unknown depth. But you are looking at 
the original canal line going through the modern sports fields. Uh, Stephen stood there, shows the, the towpath and this is the towpath that we wish to reinstate in the future which I don't think is a, a bad task but um, we're just going to show you that the canal is in water and um, you've got to be very careful and I'll show you why that's frozen but I'm going to use this stick to show you how deep this water is that stick's just disappeared about two foot down there so dear viewer do not try and play with water it's very dangerous so we're much further over now and um, away from Perton Road Bridge area, away from the Morden Sports Fields, actually heading over to the new Morden Sports Field. Behind me, this dip behind the fence line is the original canal body. That's the, uh, the base. We're on the towpath originally again here. As you can see, it's not maintained and Stephen's there on the towpath, Peggy in the distance actually walking on the towpath. Um, the fence here was when the land was passed over to Nova Herriot, when Nova Herriot was built. So we're just going to go up and see what's beyond the, up here towards the sports fields and the restricted compound with the canal in it. So just looking down at the canal bed to give you some depth for the camera. Stephen stood on the towpath and then it drops down about a foot and a half into the canal bed. This is the original Nova Herriot fence, but Nova Herriot have moved their fence back, so they are no longer in the towpath, in, in the canal line. So if you're walking through Morden into the fields, this is actually what you're looking at. Original canal, towpath walk. So this is the furthest point of which I can walk today and this is a stretch of original canal still in water that runs all the way down beyond this fence in a linear fashion right down to the back of Swindon Borough Council's recycling centre uh, and you can actually see this on Google Maps as a blue strip of original canal. But this is what it looks like in real life. This is the, the water that is ever so deep. Now this hasn't had any maintenance probably since 1914 of the original closure or beyond that. So this is the canal in its uh, natural resting state as we could say. It would be wonderful to uh, to restore this body stretch of water beyond Nova Herod and into the Molden Hill stretch. But our, our task for the foreseeable next couple of years is to reinstate the towpath and the access. So uh, as you can see the towpath is in need of lots of work. So that's that's the scheme for the moment but uh, it's lovely to know that yes indeed Swindon does have more historic canal through it than people realise. 